is up, peeps? It's FWTV HD here, and I'd like to welcome you to my brand new series. Yes, the best in FIFA. Now, in this series, I look at individual players specifically and kind of tell you what I think about them and kind of show you what they do, how they play, and whether they are the best in FIFA. So as you can tell, we are looking at Crespo in this video. I did a little intro there. I hope you did like that. It was just something for fun, you know. But um, yeah, we are looking at Crespo today. He is worth approximately around about 1.6 to 1.9 million coins, depending on the time of day and everything like that, because the market does change drastically. Uh, anyway, it's not about the market. It's about Hernan Crespo. He is an absolute monster. I am not kidding you. We're going to get into some highlights right now with him scoring some goals here. And he is he's sensational, really. He honestly is. He's one of my favorite strikers I've used. Uh, at the start, I kind of... Well, he wasn't really doing it for me. I didn't know exactly how to use him, the best way to play him. And I tried to dribble with him, which I realized is something he's not meant to do. He's not meant to dribble about. I mean, he has 80 dribbling, which is nice. That is a very good thing if you want to... Well, not if you want to dribble about with him, but if you need him to pull off a dribble or pull off a skill or get around the player, he's got some decent stats which will enable him to do it. But don't think he's like Messi or anything like that because he won't go around skilling and tricking, you know, all these players and stuff. He'll just end up getting tackled. But the way you should be playing with this guy, you should really just doing over the top through balls or just sprinting, completely sprinting through players. You know, the way FIFA used to be, you could do a sprint dribble and that was so OP, but he, he, he makes it, he brings it back. He brings it back completely. So if you go and do that, it's very, very very nice so yeah he's a clinical finisher honestly he can finish from anywhere and it's absolutely unreal especially because he has five star weak foot that is absolutely astonishing his five star weak foot is absolutely amazing so you can shoot with both feet from any angle it just makes him unpredictable really really unpredictable so very clinical his long shots are also very very nice very simple they're not like some crazy stupid stuff you know but it's just, it just glides in, you know, it just glides in very, very, very nicely. In the air, he is also very, very reliable. I did use him on the Hunter Chemistry style, so his jumping stats and everything like that, which would be involved in his physical stats, were kind of, uh, wasn't boosted. So sometimes where I think he should have won it, he didn't win it, but that's mainly because I used a chemistry style. But generally, he did win a lot of headers. I'm not, I'm not kidding. He did win a lot of them. Another thing that I really did enjoy about him is he's absolutely rapid. He's got, I think it's like 87 or 86 pace on his card, but he honestly feels like he's 90 to 93 pace. Honestly, he's absolutely astonishing how quick he is. He honestly feels like Doombia to me, and he has 93 pace on his card, so he's definitely really, really good. One thing that's kind of a negative, but at the same time, it's, it's not really a big deal, is his strength. He's not the strongest of players, he can get bullied from time to time, but honestly, there's a lot of times where he does put up a fight, I, I don't know if you see the clip in this video or not, but there was a game I was playing against, um, I think it was like Team of the Year, David Luiz, and Team of the Year, Thiago Silva, and he put up a fight against both of them, it's absolutely astonishing, he did score me two goals at the end, when I was 1-0 down, and got me to win the game, so he definitely can put up a fight to these players, and don't don't think he's, because he's got a low strength that he's going to be absolutely terrible, but I am telling you, from time to time, he will get knocked off the ball but he did surprise me honestly did surprise me that the fact he wasn't as weak as i thought he was now the final thing i'm going to talk about is his price he is definitely worth a lot of money as you can tell not many people are going to be able to afford him right now i just sold him for about two million coins he did shoot up in price i think around the market crashing team of the year he went for about 1.5 million coins so he's around that range as i did say earlier in this video but that price is a massive price and he's Definitely going to take a lot of thought to spend so much money on one player. But if you're asking me, is he worth it? I think so. He is absolutely astonishing. He's going to score you a goal every game without a doubt. So if you do have that money, go and buy him. But I am going to put that down as a negative in this video, really, because his price is absolutely stupidly high. Well, I won't say stupidly high because he's definitely worth it. But it's just ridiculously high when you can get players like Dumbia or Ibarbo, you know, the cheap players that can play just as good. So um, it def you definitely got to think about the price. But... Uh, personally, in my opinion, with my experience with him, I definitely think it's worth it. So, uh, yeah, he's an absolute monster. And that's going to be it for this video on the man Crespo. Now, he is a legend. And by God, he is going to play like a legend in this game. He's absolutely great. Uh, a few little flaws. So, uh, in this series, with every player I'm going to check out, I'm going to give him a very, I'm going to give him a rating out of ten, and I'm giving Crespo a very strong nine out of ten. He does lose that one. Very, very big point, mainly because his dribbling isn't astonishing. He's not the strongest player, and he's, he's quite a hefty price. But other than that, he's, he, he did definitely, definitely prove to me that he is a legend and he plays like one. So don't be put off by that. But anyway, 
This has been SWTV HD. Slap that like button in the face if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. There's going to be more of this. I will be looking at cheaper players as well. So don't worry. I'm not looking at all these legends and team of the years and all of that stuff. I will be looking at some cheap players as well. So thanks for watching and peace.